morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. I had a pork bone. Remember the pork uh, roast that I made that I was using all the parts, cutting, making sandwiches and everything? Well, I had put the bone in the freezer. Today I'm making black bean soup. So what I did was I took the bone out of the freezer and I used two quarts of a vegetable stock and I have it cooking now. I'm gonna cook the flavor out of it and then we'll be adding the beans in between everything else that I am doing. Okay, I'm gonna deal with the black beans. Now, most people just rinse these in the strainer. If you do, you don't get all the dirt off of it. And the only way you're gonna know is you take a bowl, you put your black beans in it and add cold water to it. That's after you pick through and got all the stones and stuff out of it. Okay, what you're gonna do next is you are gonna rub these beans together. When you rub them together, through your hands, that's how the dirt comes off. By rubbing them to each other, it breaks the dirt off. And you do this for a while, just a few minutes or so. And take a look at your water and see if it's dirty. If it's not dirty, then your beans will clean, but if the water is dirty, you fill that dirty water out, and you sit there and put more cold water in it, and you do it again. I can see that these beans are dirty. My water is getting dirty. But you just rub them against each other. Now let me finish cleaning them, and I'll be back. Okay, mine took two, two of them. Two rinses of rubbing them twice. If your beans are really dirty, it can take up to five to six times. So don't be discouraged. If it's clean on the first time, then you're very lucky. Now, I'm not taking the bone out of the stock that's cooking. I'm gonna add these beans to them. And I'm gonna continue cooking that bone from the roast with the black beans in the stock here. And the beans are almost done. I will be taking it out. And right now we're just cooking all of this together. So I'll see you as those cook along. Okay, while these beans are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and do what we have to do. We're gonna need a pepper. We're gonna stab it. flavor out of this, which is really nice. Need a larger knife. We're going to need two onions, and we're going to dice these up, or chop them up. I know you always see me peel an extra skin off, but that skin next to the outer skin is changing. That's why I always do it.
assignment is right. You know, some onions aren't, but that one really is. are pretty much the same, except you just change some of the ingredients around. Now because I'm using stock, I'm going to have to add more seasonings because the meat has got flavor in it. Oh, forgive me. And the stock does, so I have to increase on my seasonings so I'll get the flavor that I'm looking for. So see, when you have these bones and stuff, I mean, uh, don't throw them out. I mean, they're really good. You stick them in the freezer and you can make some lovely stocks out and just store them in there, you know? Now I notice a lot of the beans that uh, soup recipes I have, they're pretty similar, but slightly a little different with seasonings or how you put it together, but they pretty much follow the same thing. You want one bay leaf, but uh, these are pieces of bay leaf that should add up to one big one. Now. When I start adding the seasonings, if you didn't use a, straw, a stock that has full flavor, realize that you're going to have to use less seasoning uh, proportions than what I'm using because my stock is very, very rich. I know I'm going to be increasing it. So if I say uh, a fourth of a teaspoon or a pinch, I'm going to be putting more in because I have to cover what I've done with the stock so the flavors all come out. All right. This is all the same. All right. They want... If you're using water, I could say they want an eighth of a teaspoon, all right? But I know I'm going to need more than that than what I've got. So, I'm going to be adding more. This is savory, summer savory. Basil. If you're using water, you only need to use an eighth of a teaspoon. If you don't know what an eighth is, that's one fourth of your fourth teaspoon. You need the German. They want one eighth teaspoon if you're using water. I'm using more because I have more flavor in mine already. Now, for the, um, sorry about this, I am really just about crying at this point. And they want a fourth to a half a teaspoon of crushed black peppercorns. You know I'm going to be adding more because of what I just said. If you buy the one, it's already ground up to a powder, but when you want cracked black peppers, they're not ground as fine. So this is why you see me adding more. I'm wondering why I'm adding more when I use my seasoning, so I'm using stocks to get the cover for that. So all the flavors come up. See, I'll show you. This is cracked black pepper. You see it's in bigger pieces. That's what you want. I'm just about done cracking it. You know, when you take uh, medications and illegal drugs and drinking and stuff, and when you get older you notice you have to get dentures and stuff, do you know why you have to get dentures? Those withdraw the minerals off your bones. Now you know what holds your teeth in there in your head? 
the jawbone is bone, right? The roots wedge themselves into that bone. But when you take drugs and stuff, the bone recedes. And then your teeth get loose because they don't have anything, the roots don't have anything to hold on to to keep them in your head. This is where you end up with loose teeth and you end up going to the dentist and you end up having to get your teeth pulled and then you wear dentures and then dentures hurt you. Then you can't eat foods that you like and everything else. This is because of drugs and illegal drugs. I should say drugs, legal and illegal, okay? That's the uh, adverse effect of taking these things. So if you want to know why you're old and you don't have your teeth or you're losing your teeth, that is because of that. And another thing is, is that if you don't get enough vitamin C and antitoxins, which are your bioflavonoids and vitamin C and stuff, and A and D, you'll notice that you end up with a lot of infections in your gums and your doctor will pull your teeth too. Your dentist will pull your teeth so you don't have to deal with all those infections. This is poor diet and of years of bad diet, you end up with that. And the thing is, is people miss the point is, is you have to take and eat well every day of your life. But like I said, remember, you can take all the vitamins in the world, but if your digestive system is not up to date or healthy, it's going down the rabbit hole. And as they say, you can pump a lot of dirt into a rat hole and it, it never gets full. The same thing, you can just put them in, but they just can come straight through your body because you aren't eating every day what your body needs. Okay? Now we've got everything ready, just about. I have to get dry. One cup of water. Cold water, please. Okay. Now you want a half a cup of soy powder. Is this a half a cup or a third? I guess it's half a cup. I have so many measuring cups, I'm not sure of everything that I have sometimes. <laughs> I know when I run out of measuring spoons, though, I'm not finding any. You're going to add a half a cup of soy powder. Now, we've talked about how much protein is in this. There is a lot of protein in this. You're going to put it into this water. going. tested the beans they are done so you're going to take the onions and all the vegetables and you're going to dump them in with the seasonings and you're going to add salt to taste I just took the bone out I'll be cutting what meats on it off
vegetables. Cook. <coughs> I have to wait till this bone dries so I can get the meat. Cool, I need. One minute. Oh, the bone has to cool some so I can handle it. We're not gonna add this yet. We're gonna add this soon, but not yet. Oh, God. As you can see, it's falling apart. Whatever meat's on it, I can pull off. It's gonna be hot, but I've gotta get it in there. When we add this meat in after those vegetables cook some, we'll sit there and uh, add the soy as well. I'm actually taking the small pieces, they're easier to work with. So I know that big bone is really somewhere. There wasn't a lot of meat on it, but I didn't want to waste it. So as you can see, you can get a lot out. So think before you throw your bones out. You make excellent stock. And as you can see, that'll cook the meat off as you use them in your bean soup or any soup you want to make, I guess. And some of this is actually gristle as well that's very, very tough. This is the last piece. extra meat that we got off that we can add to the soup and no waste. Now because it's pork you cannot give that to your dog. So that's the one bone that gets thrown out but I usually when it comes to, to my pets when we had dogs they would get the bones except for pork and the cat would get fish heads and he liked that. tender that meat but yeah I couldn't cut it off the bone but doing it this way I got it all off. I have a lot of good flavor. I let these the onion and the hot pepper cook. I'm going to choke on this soup. I don't get it together. It's 
So give me a few minutes to get those vegetables done. Okay, we are going to start dealing with the onion dinner rolls. I have to get them to ready. So this is ready, so I'm actually going to be overlapping some of these recipes to each other. The soup will finish up on this, but there will be another part for this because this is going to take a bit. See if I can make it one foot. I can make it one foot long. We're going to make 12 rows. That's actually what we're doing. Okay. So. You're going to need a 13 by 9. And you're going to have to grease that baking dish. pieces. Now they want you to roll this into a ball. Flatten it down some, and you're going to put three by four into the baking dish. I'll show you as I do them. You're going to have three across and four down on the nine by thirteen. They want them slightly flattened on top as well. We're stating that. And don't try to get them perfect. And the fact them all the same size, it never works. As long as they're good, that's all that matters. If they have good flavor and it doesn't quite look right, don't be upset about it. I don't always get it right, but you know, I work at it. Well, we, when I go to make the sandwiches, we use the bigger rolls, that's all. There's some small ones in there. But they do want them flat somewhat. They do say flat on some. So it's going to be a bit crowded, but that's all right. This in the corner here would be easier if I didn't hit the corner. There will be a part three on the rolls because I don't think these will rise by the time that's done. This will be shut down this video will be over with. Now these rolls go excellent with soup as well as stew. So you can see why I'm making the bite bean soup. It'll go very nice with it.
Okay. That's how they run them, just like that. Four by three, and we are gonna let this sit. There's nothing else we can do. They have to be covered so they can rise a bit. Because it's winter, I'm actually putting two towels over them to keep it as warm as I can. So we've got that going. Soy flour is going to increase the protein way up on this. Let's not let that cook now. There's nothing more we can do. When that pepper gets really soft. You take it out. And you serve this and I'm going to be serving I'll show you how I serve it when we get to that point so I am going to just about get ready to close this video down in a few minutes okay I just turned that soup off it's it's done and it's going to finish setting and the flavors are going to mingle a bit when it's time to eat it's all done take care bye bye